Man, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. What a ride this has been, huh? From the premature announcement in 2014, all the way to the film's release on February 14th, 2020, the development and lead-up for this film has been so interesting. But we're finally here, and as the release of the film is upon us, so is the marketing. The promotion of a movie is crucial to its success. Toys, commercials, tie-ins, these are an important part of any product, but especially a movie. Generating as much hype and buzz around a movie as possible is key, and I'd like to say Paramount has done a pretty good job with marketing the Sonic movie. Well, besides the first teaser poster and trailer, of course. But everything else has been wonderful, and even those early teases got tons of people talking. As the movie is finally here, the marketing for it has been put into full effect. We've got buses in the UK donning adverts for the film, Jack in the Box is doing this weird Sonic Loves Tiny Tacos campaign, which is sort of off-brand, but hey, I'm not gonna judge, maybe Sonic does love tiny tacos. And of course, tons of merchandise for the film is being released. Now, as merchandise for the film is still being released and likely will be throughout the year, this video will focus on just one release of Sonic movie merch, but arguably one of the best, the set of plushes released by Toy Factory. As I'm sure everyone knows at this point, the Sonic movie features a brand new design for Sonic himself. Even after the redesign, his look has been changed considerably for the film. Because of this, promotional items for the film are even more enticing than they already would be, as these items feature a brand new look for the character. That means when plushes for the movie were first announced, fans everywhere were excited. So far, several plushes have already been revealed, such as these ones by Jack Specific. One of Baby Sonic, which is clearly based off the original design of the character, given his small eyes and, uh, feet along with this talking Sonic plush, which in comparison looks awesome. There are also a few others being made, such as these ones which will be available at select cinemas, and even Build-A-Bear is getting in on the Sonic movie hype. But in my opinion, the best Sonic movie plushes released so far are these. Let's talk about them. Sonic has had a lengthy history of plush sets made for arcades, and while they're all unique in their own right, most of them have been of pretty low quality as plushes made for claw machines in arcades are generally very cheap to produce and have little quality control, you basically got what you'd expect from a carnival prize. However, in 2016, a relatively new amusement prize manufacturer, Toy Factory, got the Sonic the Hedgehog license, and later that year introduced their first plush, a 12-inch classic Sonic. They also announced the classic Tails, but he was never released. Sorry, Tails. The classic Sonic was a really nice plush, and things were looking up for the future of amusement Sonic plushes. The following year, they released classic Sonic in a few more sizes, and introduced modern Sonic and Tails plushes as well. In 2018, they released a full assortment of modern plushes, containing Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow. They also announced an Amy plush, but she wouldn't be released until much later. In 2019, they released these emoji-style chibi plushes of the main cast, showing how well their Sonic line must be doing if they're branching out like this. Along with those emoji plushes in early 2019, it was revealed that Toy Factory had also gotten the license to produce amusement plushes for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. They were actually the first company to announce they had the Sonic movie license. Obviously, no pictures of the plushes were available back then. In fact, we didn't even know what Sonic looked like in the movie yet, so we could only speculate what they were working on. But we wouldn't have to wait too long to finally see them. But it actually wasn't from the plush coming out in arcades, no. As part of the huge marketing push for the movie, companies and influencers around the world started to receive special Sonic movie-themed gift boxes. Starting in early December of 2019, Paramount kicked off the movie's marketing push by sending these boxes to various people around the world. People in America, Europe, Japan, and more received these boxes. What's inside these gift boxes? Well, it depended which country you were in. For example, people in Europe received this blue cardboard box with adorable fake wrapping paper, containing a Sonic movie sweater, socks, and a 15-inch Toy Factory plush. Me being me, the plush was the most exciting thing here. This was the first time we saw it. But those other two items are pretty special, as it's clear they won't be released at retail and are exclusive to these giveaway boxes. If you want this awesome Sonic movie sweater, you'll probably have to track down one of these. Some companies got a plush with some custom ring-style donuts, which is pretty cute. People in Japan got a box that says Merry Christmas, along with a Christmas card and a small-sized Toy Factory plush. I love stuff like this. Sure, it's just a marketing tactic, but what a fun idea. This was a great way to promote the movie and drive up demand for the plush. These gift sets started showing up in early December, but we wouldn't have to wait long for the plush to hit arcades. In January of 2020, people started finding them, and it was official. Toy Factory's Sonic Movie plushes were officially released. So with all of that out of the way, how are the plushes themselves? 
He comes in two sizes, as is the norm for arcade plushes, 8 inches and 15 inches. So far, those are the only two sizes Toy Factory is making the plush in, but if the movie does well enough, maybe they'll expand this line in the future like they did with their classic and modern plushes. Maybe they'll make their own Baby Sonic plush? The Jax one does leave a little bit to be desired, so that would be great. What we have now, though, is pretty sweet. I'm gonna be honest, this 15-inch movie Sonic plush is my favorite Sonic plush in years. Not only is it unique as it's the movie design, but he's just really well made, especially compared to other amusement plushes. Kelly Toy Luigi, this ain't. He's extremely soft, a great size, and has that perfect mix of cute but cool that few Sonic plushes can pull off. Now, this is Movie Sonic, so he does have all of his new design features. That means the plushes have seven head spikes, three back spikes, and blue arms. They also depict Sonic in new shoes, which actually aren't Sonic's Puma-branded shoes he has in the movie. In fact, no pieces of Sonic movie merchandise feature those, instead having Sonic wearing these generic running shoes. Even the renders on these products are alternate versions that don't feature the Pumas. I assume it's just a licensing thing. Maybe merchandise companies would have had to give Puma a cut if they used them or something. Despite this, the shoes still look nice. He's got his Stuart Little look in laces, and it's always interesting to see a Sonic plush wearing unique footwear, right? Besides the shoes, there are a few other weird things about him. His ears don't have the inner details they should, though I guess you could say he's just so fluffy they get covered up. His hands and shoes are also really tiny, which is pretty funny looking when you notice it. Also, and this isn't a complaint, just an observation, but the plush depicts Sonic with his standard one eye, which famously has been removed for the movie design. I think it looks good, though it is technically inaccurate to this design. So, despite some inaccuracies, this plush for an arcade release is pretty much perfect in my eyes. Of course, these are amusement plushes made on the cheap, so quality control isn't a priority, meaning some look better than others. But for the most part, all that I've seen look pretty good. While the 15-inch plush is great, the small one is pretty good too. He's around the size of the Jazz his Sonic plushes, and is made of different materials than the 15-inch one. The larger plush is very soft, and sure the 8-inch one is too, but he's more like a Sine plush, while the 15-inch one is like a blanket he's so soft. And not only is he soft, but his fur appears to be almost sparkling due to the fabric, which is perfect given the electricity vibe this Sonic is supposed to possess. Pretty much everything that could be said about the 15-inch plush applies to the smaller one too. They even share the same tag. It does look a little oversized for this tiny Sonic, though that was likely just to save on cost. The tag is very well done too, featuring backgrounds seen in that early style guide that was leaked online. While all of that art of Sonic was scrapped, I guess they kept everything else. It looks nice here, and this tag is much better than that generic square one they've been using for the modern plushes. The tush tags feature a surprisingly colored print of the movie logo, along with the usual legal detail. Interestingly, Toy Factory always includes when their plushes were produced, to show which batch they were made in or simply for documentation purposes. These movie Sonics, the first print of them at least, were produced in November of 2019. That's honestly really surprising because they first started showing up in December, meaning the plushes weren't even a month old when people started getting them. And they started hitting arcades in January, so Toy Factory really pumped these guys out. Not to mention they're based off of the new design of Sonic, so I can't imagine production on these lasted very long. The fact that these are as nice as they are is even more impressive when you realize that these were likely pretty rushed. Out of the two, I'd recommend the large Sonic more, but they're both different enough where I think getting both for your collection would be wise. We don't know how many plushes will be made with this Sonic design, so I'd grab whatever you can now while it's available. After Sonic Boom was cancelled, most of its products skyrocketed in value because they will always be the only products with those designs of the characters, and it's likely the movie merchandise will be the same way. In the future, these will act sort of like a time capsule. If you do want to pick up one of these guys, they won't be available at retail stores, as they're made for arcades. You'll mostly find these in claw machines at places like arcades, carnivals, Walmart, and if you do find one in a claw machine, I'd recommend going for it. You definitely won't be disappointed. When that first trailer for the Sonic movie dropped, I never expected I would have been as excited for it as I am today. Nor did I think it would lead to some of my favorite pieces of Sonic merchandise ever. In my opinion, before the movie, the Sonic franchise had become very stale. Or at least it seemed to stop trying to do anything to push the brand forward. Sega had been using the same stock art for the characters for years, little was being done to keep Sonic relevant, but this movie is setting to change all of that. Not only does Sonic have a new look in the movie, but the film is going to breathe so much new life and energy into this series. I really hope the movie is successful, clearly it's got the hype needed for it. The fact that I started playing Sonic Dash again, a game that I hadn't played in years, just because movie content was being added to it, shows how exciting this film is. That's probably why I'm so into these Toy Factory plushes, but I do also believe they're just genuinely very well-made toys. 
Kids are going to love these, and they're high quality enough where they make for unique collector's items too. But you know what? As much as I love the new Sonic movie design, it would have been really interesting to see a plush based off of the old design seen in the first trailer, or maybe even the one used in that Chris Pratt poster. Did you know that design actually had no gloves, instead having blue hands? These leaked photos showcase an even earlier pass of the Gotta Go Fast scene we saw in the first trailer, showing a frankly scary looking Sonic, who has very shaggy mop-like spikes and tiny blue hands. Hands. That Chris Pratt poster? Sonic had his hands behind his head. He had blue hands this whole time and we didn't know. This design even made its way to merchandise for the film, or at least one piece. The packaging for this Sonic movie frisbee uses what seems to be an unused teaser image for the film, showing that same early Sonic dashing along, but he's not quite fast enough to hide his blue hands and huge thighs. Yeah, we've come a long way with this movie. Regardless of how well it does in theaters, I'm sure this movie will be a success off merchandise, DVD, and streaming sales alone. There is just so much hype behind this movie, and I'm so proud of the team for turning the film around in such a huge way. I don't think this will be it for this new branch of the Sonic series, and I can't wait to see what else this movie will bring in the years to come.